All right, this is a, a quick uh, review on the new microscope I purchased, an Omax microscope. A uh, couple things to point out. It does come with a 5 megapixel USB camera. The USB port is a 2.0. As you can see there, that's a 2.0 USB port. And then we got our opticals. We got the uh, 10, all right, what do we got down here? Four power, 10 power, 40, and a uh, 100. And on the side under here, we for moving our slides around, we do have a nice control with the access. And then we got the opener for the slides. So if you get a slide, just get a slide, put it in. That will hold it in place. And then for moving around on the screen, for the viewfinder, you just move this, and this will nicely and fine tunely adjust the slide the location for you. In the back, on the left side, and on the right side, the knob is back here. That's fine focus, and the not so fine focus. <coughs> We have the light on off switch and then the brightness control. So that's sort of the high level details. Um, the eyepieces like this also is that uh, you know different people have you know adults, kids, whoever have a different location or Eyes are different, different spacing. So if you just grab the sides here, you can pull or push those together. So that way for kids, and my son's around a 60, I'm around a, a 70 for the getting that nice view. That's also nice. So. So what the, uh, the one other thing to point out is, yeah, you see the digital cameras coming through the tube on top and then straight down. Um, so you don't get exactly the same view that you're seeing through the, the eyepieces here. And also, there are there's different lenses that come with. So right now these are a, a, a 10 power see that or not. Those are a 10 power. The kit also comes with a 20 power. This one's right here. 20 power. That can you use to replace. So you can actually get better magnification with the, the 20 power eyepiece than just straight through the digital camera. So you're going to yeah, get a little bit better uh, picture using the eyepieces. But the digital camera is really good. I like it. It's great for uh, using it with my kids because that way we can all look at, at what's on the, on the screen together instead of taking turns. 
So I'll show you an example quickly of how the software works. So zoom out a bit. I'm gonna. Eat, I got a also ordered a set of slides that are preset up. So here's a a pine leaf. I'm gonna put that into the slide put the slide holder. Pretty bright. It's going to turn down the brightness. Oops. Get my piece back in here. Adjust the focus. And line up that. So there we're getting that. And then we can just jump up to the next level. I want you to hear what since we got the we'll just justify and focus a little bit. Just the brightness. And then once again, we can adjust the axis. That's what I like about this individual X, Y axis controls. Makes it really nice for shifting things around a bit. But as you guys can see, you know it's, it's kind of cool. You can get a good video on the screen. Um, up in the top corner, I'm not sure if you can see it well or not. We do have a snapshot button. Click that. I'll take a picture of what we're seeing on the screen and I'll put it up on a new tab. And then if we have something you want to do, you can record. You can also hit record, give it a file name, and then you can record your session also and save that. Uh, I haven't really played with all the other settings that are possible, but so that's a, a quick overview on what we can do with the, the microscope. Very basic out of the box. And uh, like I said, if you want to get even a little bit nicer detail, if you put in that a uh, that 20 power lens that comes with the kit, um, you can get a, a really nice, crisp, clean uh, picture through the viewfinder.